What's up guys, welcome back to Shuckle to another video and in today's video we are back with the E36 M3 We are doing something I've been wanting to do for so 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 long So now that we got the E36 M3 back it is officially a manual for those of you guys who haven't been following the videos when We got this thing. This was an automatic and we ended up getting a uh, kinetic uh, kin Kinematic speed shifter in this thing and at the same time we are upgrading little things like that It's not only is it kinematic shifted. This was an automatic We did a full manual swap brand new clutch brand new flywheel we replaced pretty much all the gaskets it's like the rear main seal and everything else that was down there upgraded like the, the clutch line, the clutch pump, the clutch fork, everything that's underneath the car in terms of the transmission has been either replaced or, and or upgraded with new parts. I'm super, super, super hyped for that. So we've been trying to restore this thing, but at the same time, trying to make it a track car. So it's gonna be a track car, but it's also a restoration car. And in terms of the outside, you guys can tell the paint is in not so good shape, but I do plan on getting this whole paint uh, polished up, bush, uh, buffed out, that's the way you say it, and getting this it's all repaired at the shop because I want that professional, professional, uh, you know, detail to attention or affection or whatever they call it. <laughs> That's what I want for the paint as of this car, but yeah. The interior, guys, has seen better days. So, yes, we're missing a lot of stuff in the interior. We do have door card deletes, as you guys know. These are pretty clean. I absolutely love them. These are from Turtle Labs as well, so those are pretty clean. Looking in the rear end as well, guys, we actually removed the rear seats because they were all ripped up. Uh, we actually removed these little side pillars. We might be even taking off the roof soon enough. But yeah, there's just so many things that need to be either fixed, replaced, as you guys can see. There's just so many things broken. And when you guys get E36s, it's just, it's just how they are. Um, this is another thing that was broken is that uh, this hazard button as you can see when I'm clicking on it It doesn't even come up all the way So when you click it, it just stays on hazard the entire time and it's fading We got a newer looking one from pick and pull that actually works and that looks so 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 good as for this trim piece as well We actually got a brand new trim piece from pick and pull as well the black one Which I like a whole lot more than the wood this car came with the wood as you guys can see right here We actually got a piece to replace this as well because it's super cracked up So you're replacing that replacing the glove box replacing a bunch of things here cup holders everything even this e-brake guys does not stay up because the button is just gone and broken I and mean, even the boots like shot we got a bunch of things missing back here and again we can go on all day how many things are actually wrong with this car like the obd port it's broken it's just sagging uh we're missing all that stuff right now this piece is chipped off broken we're missing the straps we have so many things i want to do including that side mirror it, uh, it only goes like it, it, it keeps going down on its own so uh we're gonna have to be replacing the motor on that and then reconnecting that and again the list goes on and on and on let me show you guys what we got exactly so what you guys see here is every Everything we ended up picking up from pick and pull or race German and uh, no, that's about pretty much it That's pretty much it. So brand new things we ended up getting from race German is these brand new rear uh, tail lights I mean not tail lights uh, like uh, license plate lights. So these are brand new. They're gonna be looking so good We ended up getting brand new USB ports that are E36 style So not only will this go in an OEM location um, Actually both of these are gonna be going towards an OEM location as you guys can see This is kind of how the tray is supposed to look we're actually missing one right here So this is gonna be filling that in but yeah, we're gonna have USB ports with the exact Exact same textures as you guys can see like over here so it's gonna be the exact same theme which is that retro style that we are going for see so yeah, I got this from race German um, this is a switch if you end up doing any light bars or anything like that I actually plan on doing something pretty crazy that we're actually gonna require this uh, this switch so that's why I ended up getting that all three of these are from race German so if you guys like any of these throughout the install video there's gonna be a link down below these are from race German these are the door handle straps that we got originally with the car and I didn't want to install it because uh, I have huge plans on doing this as a, a one color and a yellow color so so long story short we got the yellow straps so I could finally install these other brackets and everything in there And yeah, so basically I want a black and yellow theme in the interior and then as for the exterior The color is not gonna stay the same, but I do want to restore the paint So we're gonna be restoring the paint before I change the color But yeah for the interior black and yellow theme that, that that's what we're going with other things We ended up picking up uh, this actually um, is from our car originally, uh, but the clutch pedal right here uh, We didn't have this cut out so my boy Blake ended up just cutting this out So we are good we can finally reinstall that which gives us you know at least room to actually use our clutch pedal um, these are front and rear shocks for the hood and trunks. We got brand new shocks because ours are shot on both sides. Again, I'm replacing everything that just commonly goes out. Um, these are cup holders I ended up picking up from Pick and Pull. It's actually in really good shape other than the fact that it's dirty. It's missing the coin thing, which I end up picking up as well. But uh, yeah, we finally have something that's actually usable. All the brackets down here are good. So once it goes in there, it's gonna look good. We have this for the glove box trim. All the tabs are good on this. It's black, it's clean. Uh, again, we're gonna be detailing everything here before we actually install it because I want this thing to look super good. This thing in the rear, this one is mine guys so this is mine this is how it came and uh yeah this works it looks really good definitely needs a little bit more of a detail but uh yeah i think that looks absolutely insane i we'll actually use this shell but this piece we'll see how that goes as for the e-brake this one actually works so we have a functional e-brake this is a really nice upgraded leather not all e36s come with this leather usually they're plastic so this is a nicer handle with the boot
suit with the whole thing. So we're gonna be replacing all of that. We have a brand new grill piece because mine is broken. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be replacing that as well. We have speaker grills like I showed you guys earlier. So now we actually have new speaker grills. I actually found this one. We don't need to replace this, but it says HK on there and just looks super dope. So we are replacing that just for the heck of it. This is for the window uh, motor, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, this is a brand new um, OBD port. As you can see, the tabs are all good there. We're gonna have to figure out a way to repin this, but uh, yeah, that's for that. And then as for the engine bay, the only thing messed up is the alternator um, like air duct for it. So yeah, we got that as well. Oh yes, and uh, not to forget, we actually have this glove box right here. So um, this top piece, the only thing we need is actually this switch because my switch is broken. And then this glove box for the most part is in good working order. I'm hoping I can get that cleaned out and any other red stuff that is on here. I'm really hoping we can get clean that out because other than that, this is in really good shape compared to mine, which I'll be showing you guys in a second. I don't know if you guys can see mine, but mine is just, it's just destroyed. And this is like chipped off. It looks terrible, absolutely terrible. And uh, I had to really push this down to get it to open. So now it actually works, but it even hangs kind of low. So I'm hoping this will actually get it to sit a little bit higher. And at the same time, won't have any of these sagging issues that look so bad. Ooh, I'm out of breath guys, but last but not least, while we're actually doing all this, you guys can see this disgusting carpet yeah this is gonna be gone we're gonna say goodbye i'm actually gonna vacuum all this stuff out and uh, we're gonna remove the center console and everything here we're actually gonna rip out the carpet because uh we don't need that anymore Now that we got pretty much everything back and out of here and we got the center console out, which actually was very easy. There was one screw there, one screw there. Um, and then we also had just removed that uh, piece up here. But any hoozles, um, now I kind of want to just remove this. Before I actually remove that, I think I'm going to get rid of the carpet. So I'm going to go to remove the driver's seat just so we have more room to remove this carpet. And then, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and remove it because I'm, I'm so over it. My eyes closed. Hello darkness my old friend At this point guys I realized that I messed up and uh, there's no going back from here so uh Oof but I am going to go ahead and persevere and just get the rest of this stuff out I Can do this with my eyes closed So guys, we did get everything out over here, which means we're pretty much almost ready to get this carpet out. I'm going to be doing some cutting over here because I don't want to actually remove the dashboard. I believe I have to do that. Um, so, so you know what? Possibly this piece will move. I think if I take out this screw, I might be able to cut all underneath there. Yeah, it might make things a whole lot easier. But I'm going to go ahead and remove these trim pieces as well just to make it easier to pull this carpet out. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're almost there. Now, unfortunately, we did run into a little bit of a hiccup. We're going to have to head down a pick and pull to pick up another um, gas pedal because, uh, yeah, basically when removing this thing, I accidentally snapped it. I'm understanding now how to remove it. Um, basically, there's a little tab here in the middle you need to pull out before actually ripping this thing off. And unfortunately, I don't think I can even drive this home in the current condition that it's in. So, yeah. Fortunately, uh, that looks like it's gonna be kind of a pain. We're gonna have to get a new gas pedal. The good news is actually we removed uh, the old e-brake. This thing is completely shot. So I'm super happy this is out. So once we actually remove the carpet, we'll be able to install the gas pedal a lot easier and actually install the new e-brake a lot easier. So yeah, out with the old guys. Let's go ahead and just remove this bolt right here. And I think this whole carpet should just come out. Actually, before I actually start working on the interior, I'm actually gonna head out with my brother and go down to I-Pull, U-Pull and try to see if I can get another gas pedal. I really need a gas pedal for this thing because I just realized I have an alignment appointment tomorrow. So yeah, let's go ahead and see. Hopefully I don't break one over there. Let's go ahead and see if I can get one. And guys, we are back from pick and pull and I got myself a brand new one. So it's not brand new, but it works. And actually this is a lot more stiffer. So this is definitely in better shape than mine was. I'm not gonna play with this. I'm actually just gonna install it once we get the carpets out. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean that up as well. So we'll add it to the group of things that we're gonna have to detail and then reinstall. But thankfully, 
basically we got our gas pedal so we'll be able to drive this thing. Shout out to Pickapool and uh, iPo you pull for being a thing and actually getting things like on demand. So that's super nice. It just comes to show you guys like, hey, I didn't know how to remove that at first and I broke it. But then I watched a couple more YouTube videos and I figured out after removing it completely uh, in the bracket and everything is like, oh, this is how you remove it. So I learned it, you know, I broke it, but I learned from it. So I went down to pick and pull. I got out of this one, didn't even break it. Five bucks. I'm super happy, guys. So that's a, that's with the admission. So $5 total, it's a good deal. Because on eBay, they were going for like 50. Um, so long story short, $5, not a huge setback. Let's go ahead and get into the inside of the car. And I want to start removing these carpets because they are ugly. And guys, we got pretty much most of the carpet out. Um, a lot of it's still kind of sticking to the car, which is kind of disgusting. So I'm gonna have to work on that. And there's still some of the carpet that's literally in between all of this. I'm gonna start working on that right now as well. So I'll get back to y'all once I get as much carpet from there out as possible. And then we'll start reassembling some of the things and start cleaning some of the things. And uh, yeah, I need to put a gas pedal on this thing so I can at least get it home. And I'll probably just work on most of it tomorrow. Cause guys, I hate daylight savings. It just gets so dark so fast. It's only like five o'clock right now. And uh, yeah. And unfortunately, we had to kill an hour to get that gas pedal as well, but it is what it is. Um, I got this remounted again, so that's all sorted. We got that trim piece. I actually broke this trim piece. I'm gonna have to probably get another one. Actually, I don't even think I'm gonna get another one. I think we're just gonna rock it without it, honestly. Who really needs that? We'll see, we'll see. Because I kind of want to keep this. I kind of want to keep that back here, and I might keep this. I kept that part. We'll see, we'll see if I get one of these and pick a pole down the road. But as for now, it's no big deal. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna try to get as much more carpet out of there as possible. So I just got more carpet out of here on this side, so it's clean, it's more cleaned up on this side. But I also actually want to remove this. So uh, looking at this and looking over here, there is one bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that real quick. Hopefully once I remove that, yeah. This whole thing just comes out. Bada bing, bada bang. We are also doing some weight saving, boys. <laughs> and one more screw, guys. Oh, this one actually has a zip tie and a tab right here. Ugh. Okay, out with the old. And now that all this stuff is out, guys, out with the old garbage. Now, before actually cleaning up all this stuff, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and just start reinstalling some things. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna start reinstalling some of the things here because I think I'm gonna go home tonight and start working on the rest of it tomorrow. I need the center console to be reassembled. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this center portion and then I'll probably end up cleaning it tomorrow as well. So now that we got the seat inside the car, guys, I wanna show you guys other things that we are gonna go ahead and start to restore. For example, these buttons, guys. So I actually got these from, uh, well, this one from uh, Pick and Pull. And as you can see, this is my original one. It's way more worn out. You can barely even see the buttons are disgusting. But if you guys look at the back, the connectors are different. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do um, is just peel off the face of it and put it on this one. And that's what I'm gonna do for everything here. So um, I am gonna be working on the back of my trunk, but just mind you guys, I am getting this thing polished. So uh, don't mind it. I'm not gonna purposely try to scratch it, but if I set something down on it, it's not a big deal because I am going to get this whole thing polished up. partially assembled I want to go ahead and just throw this on just in case I need to move the car so let's go ahead and just install the new pedal that we ended up picking up we'll go ahead and detail this later as well but uh for now we can at least install it and just like that guys gas pedal in there that was actually super easy to install especially since I didn't have a carpet but look how messy this is we're definitely got to do some detailing up in here but oh my god guys this stuff is really coming together and I'm just getting too excited now before calling it a day I do want to add this last final piece I'll assemble the rest of this probably tomorrow but uh as for now let's go ahead and just throw this in and then uh we'll detail this and work on this tomorrow which you guys will see same time same video whatever you know all the gravy in the navy but for me for today for myself 
Let's go ahead and just do that. Before, and it is good to go. This thing is still not opening the way I would like it to open, but we got the LED light in there as well. I'm pretty much working on all the details. I mean, this set of consoles is the only thing I really care about. The rest of the car can go. Uh, but yeah, this is fully assembled now. We have this thing all clipped, ready to go. Um, so yeah, as for the rest of the stuff, including this and everything here, uh, we're gonna be detailing it hopefully tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And guys, we are back for day two of working on the E36 M3. So if you guys check out the interior real quick, we got a lot of stuff done last night, but we also found out last night is actually our clutch line is leaking, which is uh, no bueno. So all this wet stuff, you guys see that brown stuff, that fresh new brown stuff, that is actually coming from our clutch line right up there. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to upgrade that and replace that. You guys actually see it's a little bit dripping right up, right there in front of you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's been dripping all night and uh, we need to get that replaced. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do is order a brand new line, but I'm actually gonna get one of the stainless steel. So instead of that OEM BMW that's super hard to install, I'm actually gonna go with the stainless steel one. I forgot that, I think it's like Chase or something, the company that makes it. And it's gonna go straight from that master cylinder to the slave cylinder. And I have a brand new master cylinder right over here. So as soon as we get that part, we're gonna connected to this part, two brand new parts, shouldn't have any leaks, so uh, yeah, should be good. So that also means it's probably not safe to drive this car, because if you guys think about it, this thing uses the exact same fluids, I think, as the brake fluids, because it connects to the brake fluid um, reservoir, so if that runs out of fluids, that also means our brakes are out of fluids, so that's not good. So we're not, <laughs> we're not actually gonna drive this car until we get that brand new line in, which is unfortunate, because I really wanted to get the alignment done on this car, and hoping everything be good to go, but imagine me not having brakes, that would be, absolutely bad especially if I'm on the highway that'd be really 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 bad so to play it out safe I'm just gonna go ahead work on this car some more today and then uh, yeah before actually driving it anywhere I'm just gonna roll it down probably have my brother help me um, and just just park it somewhere until we can get that line replaced meantime on to some better news that we do have a lot more things for the interior so let's go ahead and keep working on this stuff I am super stoked for this now the next couple of things I actually want to start working on it before we actually enter the door panels because I really want to install those straps uh, we actually want to install this guy so I'll show you the reason why I actually got this one this one, everything works on this. It's a little bit dirty. We'll go ahead and clean it once it's inside the car. But yeah, the reason we got this one is because this one is like sagging. I don't know why. It's just it's just a little wonk and it barely moves. It makes this really weird sound. So uh, yeah, as we're trying to perfect the rest of this beauty, look how good that's looking. We really did a great job yesterday. We fixed the button things. Look so much better. Brand new boot on our kinematic shifter. Oh, this feels so nice. All right guys, so unfortunately I wanted to replace this, but it turns out that this has a different mechanism. So if you guys look at this one, there's no blue dots. If you guys look at this one, this one has blue dots. This one does not. What difference does that make? As you guys can see, this one actually has wires attached to it and this one actually has like a spring loaded system. So uh, even if I replace it, this isn't gonna work. So even though it looks better, I don't want it to be non-functional. So yeah, we're just gonna have to rock this for now. Uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and assemble the rest of this stuff with some upgrades. So the next thing I wanna go ahead and mess with before we actually reinstall. I had to remove this obviously for the shifter, uh, but yeah, if you go ahead and remove these guys, I believe you just push up on them. Yeah, and these guys just come out. So uh, yeah, saying goodbye to that. I actually have, uh, what's it called? The alarm light. I think I'm going to leave that to the last one. So I'm going to pop that out for the alarm light. Um, as for this one right here, we're going to be installing these dual USB ports, which I'm super excited about. So now we can actually charge our phones in this car. And what's super cool about this, because again, I like everything to be that OEM plus look. Look how good that is. You guys can see that this is textured like the rest of the service here. This is from Race German. They even have other things you guys can put over here, just if you got on a deck out your, uh, your E36. But uh, that's all I got for now. I think this looks super, super, super clean. And yeah, let's just go ahead and just get this thing connected. It's actually really easy. So if you guys turn around to the back uh, basically this will connect to uh, the bigger side I believe the blue the larger blue will connect on this side right here easy peasy lemon breezy and uh, this side will just connect right there this is on this cigarette lighter and now you have your positive and your negative you connect this directly into the car and you guys are good to go something I just realized I need to do actually is actually put this bracket through this side and actually tighten that up so uh, uh, let me go ahead and just get that disconnected again and reinstall this I'll show you all that in a second and just like that guys as you guys can see this thing has no wiggle room once Whatsoever. All I had to do is pretty much just tighten up the two screws that are back there. And uh, yep, we got those connected. Let's go ahead and just connect this into the car and just install this bad boy. I am so excited to have USB ports that actually work in this car. And uh, let's go ahead and just connect our uh, alarm as well. And 
just like that guys the only thing that's ugly is this we're going to replace this down the road but as for everything else we got the brand new bluetooth radio all this is working as well all this is looking super good we have the usb switches right there i have to test that out later uh but yeah guys this is looking so much better i'm just super happy with this now obviously we also have some things for over here and some things over here i do want to get this stuff cleaned out as well i actually might work on cleaning that now yes i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning that now and that is the after guys look how much cleaner that is <laughs> <laughs> that looks so much better. I actually decided to clean up this as well. This looks so much better, guys. Now, I know you're not even going to see this portion, but knowing that this is going to be disgusting underneath my cup holders, I just didn't want that to happen. So I think it cleaned up pretty well, considering I'm not a detailer. All I pretty much use is some purple power and some of these uh, some of these little brush things. I'll have these linked down below. I got these off Amazon, like a full kit of them. They're pretty dope. But yeah, that's literally all I use. A drill, one of those little brush things, and purple power. And that came out looking clean. I'm actually going to clean the rest of this as well. It's coming together really, really, really nicely. And then I just cannot wait to install these cup holders. Guys, look how good these cup holders cleaned up. This is looking so much better than it originally did, obviously. Guys, this thing honestly is amazing. Also, we ended up getting this trim piece here. I'll show you guys the one we have in the car right now. I have the wood trim that's just cracked everywhere. I feel like this is gonna just look a lot cleaner. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and replace this and go ahead and install that. And just like that, guys, we have the cup holders in there. <laughs> Look how good that looks. We even cleaned up the inside of that. That could be a little bit better, but honestly, I need better tools for something like that. This is like really, really corroded stuff back there. Um, but anywho, for the most part, everything is super clean. Everything is usable. I actually feel comfortable putting my stuff on top of this now. My coin thing is actually broken. I need to get another one of these coin things, but at least I cleaned it out to where if I need to shove in some, you know, fork spoons, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know, like a screwdriver or something in there for now. Um, it's there and also just fills in the gap. So it just looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, when that's down, that just looks so much better, guys. We finally got all this stuff assembled. Now, the next thing I want to work on, honestly, is these door cars. These door cars, I was supposed to install these door straps when I first got them. But when I first got them, they came in black and I really didn't want the black one. So I actually got these yellow ones, which again, these are from Turtle Labs, which I'm super happy about. They actually sent me out these yellow ones instead. Super happy about that. And uh, I wanted to go with kind of like a yellow and black theme in the inside. I wanted to do some custom, like a, like a yellow cage or something as well. I really want the interior to be yellow and black. So they also have these brackets that literally say Turtle Labs on them. Um, I don't really know how to install this properly yet, but I mean, let's give it a shot. If we install the door cards, how hard can these actually be? Now, the first thing I want to do, guys, is actually just replace uh, these two guys. Uh, so this one is crap. This one doesn't look as cool as the Harman. Actually, the Harman Kardon is kind of beat. Um, should we do Harman Kardon? Actually, that looks a lot cleaner. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually just stick to the original one. And since that one's cracked, you might as well just replace it with this one. Uh, I think that's the way to go. But these do look cleaner than both of these guys. Uh, but this one's not cracked. Mm -hmm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Three, two, one. And just like that, guys, we just have this speaker inside. Honestly, I might take this part to get it, try to get another speaker grill. This looks pretty bad. And since this is the Harman Kardon, the hole is bigger. So as you guys can see, you can see a little copper in there. Um, I'm just very, very, very picky, but uh, it works for now. It's definitely better. It doesn't have a crack that's missing here. Uh, so we'll roll with that for now. Meantime, let's go ahead and figure out this situation.
guys just got the turtle lab straps in the car and they are bulletproof they're looking so 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 good i know this beige seat is kind of throwing things off guys but i promise you guys once i actually get the proper seats in here this setup's gonna look so good and it's just really coming together i'm honestly considering on either making this super clean like getting it all black and uh peeling up all this i think these are sound deadening things and cleaning all this up hopefully that's gonna be in a video down the road i would put the rest of this stuff all back together but the thing is i'm trying to fix this so i need to get the right tool to be able to replace this and uh, at the same time we also need to fix that leak so i just feel like with all this stuff off the car it makes life a whole lot easier so i'm actually going to go ahead and leave all that disconnected for now um, but i am going to put the resting pedal because i actually like that there and this thing can definitely use some cleaning so with the power of purple power <laughs> and the power of editing three two one and just like that guys we have our hood release and our dead pedal right there looking so much cleaner again uh we are leaving that right there just because of the clutch fluids but uh other than that i mean i'm gonna be zip tying all this cleaning all up this up hopefully in a future video there's still so much more cleaning and i want to get rid of some wires the ones that we don't need i want this to look as clean as possible but also be in a track car like at the same time it's kind of hard to explain but i have some crazy goals i've actually seen some examples of it and i have a feeling that i'll be able to achieve it with enough patience but look, guys, look at those. These look so, so, so good. And I love the detail right there too. It's a small detail, but looks so good. And my, oh my, this is looking fresh. <laughs> oh my Lord. Guys, by the way, I actually ordered a steering wheel, um, a racing steering wheel, which I'll be showing you guys that pretty soon as well. It's actually not what you guys think. So I say racing, but it's also luxury. So uh, video to come. In the meantime, guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. It is 4.30 right now. I'm about 30 minutes to clean up and take that trailer back to U-Haul because I don't wanna take it tomorrow morning because I'm always have that fear that somebody might steal my trailer um so yeah i'm trying to return it so i don't have to deal with that and at the same time it, it is just it's getting to that time at five o'clock i have to return it but as of right now guys honestly we did everything we could for today other than some major things which is like pretty much decluttering the interior uh for the most part i think i've got everything other than the glove box in so that's actually very 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 satisfying we got the new e-brake in there we got all the center console stuff in there we got the usb ports in there we got the the the, the door straps we got a bunch of cool little mods in the interior it's coming together and at the same time now it is sitting like this and it's not rolling forward so i'm super happy about that because my last one guys was completely shot it wasn't even working at all it's actually a very simple fix i didn't think it was going to be that uh, that that easy but it was easy and then you know i'm kind of happy about that you know and uh if you guys want to sit down and have some tea and talk about it i mean i mean i mean no relax relax no relax Anywho, guys, I'm just so happy everything pretty much went down pretty easy. Um, other than the fact that I broke my uh, gas pedal and I had to get another one, and that I found out that my clutch is uh, leaking. But at least we found that out. If you see, if we didn't actually try to gut the carpets, I would have never found out that my clutch is leaking. And if my clutch was leaky to the point to where it's empty, Again, I'll be out of brake fluids too, and uh, that would be a disaster. So God bless, everything happens for a reason, guys. Also guys, I do wanna mention, I am having 50% off store-wide, everything in the store, just for Black Friday or pre Black Friday. Um, so if you guys wanna get some merch, this is the time to do it. 50% off literally everything. If you guys wanna get stickers, it's literally as cheap as $3, which is a super, super, super good deal. So if you guys wanna support your boy and cop some merch, check out that link down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. And yes, the trailer is here because the 335 IS is back. So smash the like button if you guys want to see the 335 IS. Peace out.